Hey, what's up, everybody? This is No One Shall coming at you with yet another Star Trek Fleek in my video. Today, we're going to talk about cost efficiency, the research that actually matters in the game to you, that really will deflect your gameplay and will push you further in the game for a cheaper rate on your resources, materials, time, etc. So, but before we get into that, don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below, and right below that in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a comment. Remember, Go to the uh, description, go join my Discord. There are three donation links listed down below on PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. You can subscribe if you want. But remember, this is my main source of income, so if you guys want to help out, those donations are listed down below. Donation links, donation, whatever. And when I talk about materials, I'm talking about your G3, G4, G5 materials. I'm talking about your, for, for resources, I'm talking about your steel, your dilithium, and your titanium. I'm talking about those basic stuff. And there are ways of telling what research actually affects kind of what in a sense. But at the same time, it does. And it's kind of weird. So let's see the station tree. So our base thing we're going to look for in the station tree is a specific marker. So if we go to the station tree, we're going to look for the cash marker right there. That marker indicates it is a cost-saving one. So that tells you what it is. So this is one of your ones. Increases your base cost efficiency for all your buildings, steel, titanium, and dilithium. There's one right there. And then we look right here. We have three more listed. Or one listed right here. Another cash symbol, titanium. Another one, dilithium. So then we go down the list. It makes it really easy to see what affects your resources. And then we get right here. Your factship ones. Klingon structures. So this is going to affect Klingon stuff. Not really. It's going to affect uh, ship-related stuff. And Federation. And those are three more. And as you see more, here's three more listed. Your pair cost. That's another reduction research that helps it. Here's the one when you get into the G4 material era. For me, it's G4. So you see right here, I would save gas. And you keep looking for the dollar signs. See, the dollar signs will show you your re reduction research. And I'll go through the stuff that I think is honestly important in the game. And stuff that I think that you need to push on. But I'm going to go through the research and show you certain ones that where it shows it at. Where it's the perfect example of seeing. Look at cost reduction. So this is your parts. This is the cost reduction on parts. Your peers on parts. Your efficiency on parts. Those you need to research. And then here. This is the one I loved. So you have pure crystal. Pure gas. And pure ore. This helps with ship upgrades. You're upgrading your ship. So efficiency for components. Ship components. This one affects that. So that's the one you want to look at if you want to upgrade ships. Then we go to the online more. We look for another dollar sign. So we have da, 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 any more dollar signs. So we have Federation Pure Gas, Feder Klingon Pure Ga Crystal. And then we have Romulan. Those are one specific for those ships, for those faction ships. So Klingon is Klingon ships. Rom is, well, I mean, you know, you know what I mean. And then we go down here. More ship reductions right here. You just look for those dollar signs in the game. And it will tell you what is it. Sometimes they're not marked that much. Um, I'm not sure if there's any in the away team, if I remember. I don't think there's any reductions in the away team. I do not think so. No. So the one is going to be Outlaw. Outlaw has a few reductions in it. So as you see, Plutonium, which will affect your BB. Or, yeah, your Botany Bay. So Plutonium, Plutonium, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about that. Here's what we start to look at in the Outlaw tree. We have Crystal Efficiency. For research, this one affects your the need for crystal and research. It will reduce it by an X percent over time. So your original is 5% and goes down. And then we look at cost efficiency for buildings. So we go to that one. Then we go down the list again. So we have gas and gas. So efficiency for buildings and research. Another reduction. Then again, we go down even more. Or for research and buildings, which is another reduction. And it starts to take effect. And then we have titanium reductions for Ship components. So this will help you cheapen your ship components. And as you see, they're marked with a dollar sign. Here's another one. This one is a small reduction for your um, for your ships. It's small. I did some tests on stream. Unless you're like doing 27, 28, 30,000 for components. This is a small reduction by like 100, 100 uncommons for each one, which that's a big one, even though your daily, your daily refine doesn't pay out that much. So it does help. So it gives you 1% each bump. So starts at 5%. And then from 5%, it's a 1% up each bump it does help slightly but not greatly if you know if you catch my drift 
And then now we're going to the Starship one. I don't think there's any cost reductions in here. Nope, no cost reductions there. Next one we're looking at is the star or the territory tree. This is the one that has the major cost reduction. One of the ones that I personally have been working on as of late a lot. So the first one that stands out to us is efficient ship upgrade. So this one right here is increase the base cost efficiency for crystal gas and or components. If you look at it, you get a 5% bump, 4%, 5%, 4%. 5%. As you slowly go through it, those take a big hit and help you out greatly. I think the last one I did from going from eight to nine was about a 800 uncommon hit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and then we have the ones related to your build or your research. <coughs> Excuse me. Ones related to your research. So we look at the ones related to research. These actually cost, give you a reduction there. Then we have ones related to our um, uh, efficient for ships. This one affects your, I mean ships, your buildings. So this one will affect it for that same thing. And then we go down the line. We look at more. So we go down here and we go to, mm, where's it at? Eh, efficient upgrades. This one's not marked. This is the one I told you was important. Oh, yeah, it's marked. Dude. Um, let's see where else we're looking at. So we're looking at the repair costs, which is nice to have over time so you're not spending a lot of money on your repairs um next one we're going to look at is going to be your optimized research optimized ship and this one are our steel relate our base resource ones that knock it down so these will help you with your resources knocking them down so requiring it as you get higher level resources start to cost more and these start to like help you a lot more these are must have researches then we go down the line and i think we have i think we ran our researches in that tree uh, there's nothing really in Starbase besides like um, assembly one, which helps you cheapen the assembly cost for all these resources, res uh, researches in this uh, Starbase one. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, da, 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 da. I know there's another one that will help you in your ISO. So this is the one you want to look at in the ISO. This one's nice right here. This one will help you cheapen your TC research. So if you're in an alliance that has a Starbase, hopefully you're in an alliance that has a Starbase, you'll be able to take advantage of this research that will help you cheapen that research to be able to do more of that research to do some cost savings in that tree. So focus here, get it cheaper, jump over there, do those researches, keep those isogen mining. And then we have these efficiency ones are, guess what? Base cost for components. Our research, these will help your research, cheapen the research. So those will help you for your other ones that will affect you in the game. So what you're gonna look at in game is your goal is to cheapen any cost. So what you're doing is you're gonna be focusing on cheapening your reductions. So like, we'll take an example um, of a building. Let's see if I have anything, cause I just did a big research. That's a huge building that requires a lot. Let's see, that one's 2.2 bill. I don't think I have anything that requires an astronaut uh, like a lot. So this one's 34, 34 billion. So which reductions would, if you even look at 10%, that's a huge reduction in it. That will save you a lot of resources in this game. But when you look at ships and upgrades on ships, so we'll pull up my coronar. And I've been really pushing into that research of cost reduction. So this before was 30K. This right here was 30,000 uncommon G4. Or I think it was 34 before I started doing research. And I've already got it down to 26 419 uncommon g4 gas over time a lot of this stuff gets cheaper and if we look at um we'll take right here we'll open this one up we'll switch it out with a miner so we'll go to a survey a g3 one that you guys get affected by more so if we look at this one this one is 5,000 for the upgrade over the time i've been doing my research it is greatly more even if we take a look if i pull up a stfc.space I'm going to pull up on the side of my screen and I will take a look at the Antares. Can't answer that right now. My daughter's calling. Um, so we're going to look at the, it doesn't really matter, Antares. And then we're going to look at the final tier. So we're going to go all the way to the final tier. And in game, it would cost you 8,000 G3. So that research will greatly reduce your spend in the game. That will greatly reduce your spend in the game. So you want to look at your ship ones. That's a major one. Your building ones. That's another major one. Do all the ones you can possible. I know it sounds like I was going over a tree. Most of you guys already know this. But I wanted to go over it one more time. So you all are aware. 
All right, guys, don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below or below that. In the uh, in the description, come join my Discord. We have three donation links down below. Remember, that's, this is my main source of come. If you guys do want help, there is that subscribe button. If you want to help out on a monthly basis, they give you a special place in my Discord. If you do subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment with what you want in the next video or whatever it is. Just leave a comment. I love you guys. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.